Thankfully, today the rain has held off. It was forecast rain all day actually here, but uh, thankfully that's not happened. So the guys have been able to crack on and uh, get a first coat of white paint over the non-skid deck there. So yeah, excellent job guys, well done. They've put the first coat of paint on over the uh, sand, well the non-skid uh, deck. But uh, yeah, it's gonna need a second coat for sure. For your information guys, this is not varnish. This is actually an automotive top coat clear or lacquer. Uh, here in Southeast Asia, because of the strong UV rays, normal varnish outside just doesn't last. So we always go with the automotive clear lacquer. Uh, yeah, that'll protect it and uh, it'll last for years. So good tip for you. Yes, the cockpit area is looking nice and splendid now in this nice new white. It's lovely. Nice job, Florenti. Thank you. <laughs> the guys have uh, finished the non skid. Uh, it's not an easy job trying to get this to blend in smooth and even. Uh, the boys have done the best they can, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, at least, at least now it's grippy. Whereas before, when it was wet, it was like an ice rink. It was very dangerous. In fact, Randy went over on his ass a couple of times. So he did. But no, she's looking absolutely fantastic. Good job, guys. So the guys are doing some uh, final sanding of the hull. Uh, before they apply the first coat of white so yeah she's looking very nice okay so we've made some adjustments to the forward hatch uh, it didn't quite fit this morning so uh, we're gonna give it a second try and uh, what do you think Red? still tight still more to come off okay so there's a minor adjustment that's required I think uh, if we just take a, maybe a couple of pubic hairs off uh, certain parts, should be good. What do you reckon there, Rand? Just a bit more hair. Give it a slidey slidey. Okay, it's okay. Ahoy there, Captain! For sure, she looks lovely. So, Florenti's now applying the first coat of white. And here we have the floating compressor. So what's going on here, unfortunately, but not unexpected, uh, the last hatch that the sawmill made for us, uh, let's just say it was not up to the same standard as the first one uh, that they made. Quite frankly, it's turned out to be a complete piece of shit. Uh, not happy. They use some old piece of plywood here full of bloody holes just just a piece of shit as always in this country it's very very difficult to find quality quality does not exist here unfortunately so what randy's going to do is he stripped it out uh, we're going to renew this plywood with a new piece 
and we're going to make some modifications uh, to this one hatch uh, so yeah anyway unfortunately that does happen here but I guess it happens elsewhere too uh, I'm not sure I mean it looks okay with a small slat in the middle but uh, sorry but try and put it on the end I think it looks better like that. I think yeah. 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 That's that's my preference. So we we'll go with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good job. That's a better job than the damn sawmill. So this morning, doing something different. We're doing a hydrostatic test. Uh, on a couple of steel scuba cylinders for uh, a client of ours uh, so yeah stick around then so I've pumped that to 100 bar I'm gonna hold this for 10 seconds uh, just to make sure no pressure drops off and uh, providing no pressure drops off uh, we will continue up to 4400 psi or 336 bar okay that looks good we shall continue pumping Okay, we've now uh, reached 4,400 psi. I'm gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, it's good. So that completes the testing of uh, the client's steel cylinder scooper tanks. Uh, I've already done the calculations and uh, the client will be pleased to know that they've passed uh, they came in at nine percent which is ten percent the the, the the maximum of uh, allowable expansion uh, on, on these cylinders so uh, yeah nine percent that's good so uh, i'll get them all marked up and uh, give them a call Well, even though Chisamba's had one coat of white paint, uh, Florent is not 100% happy uh, with the outcome. So, uh, he's put on some extra body filler uh, in places where he feels that it's needed. So now she's white with pink patches. Florent is now uh, spraying on. Uh, the second coat of white once the white has all been completed then uh, they'll put on a lacquer or a top coat as they call it here and then once that's all dry completed they will then buff it up to a nice shine hopefully that'll be finished next week So we're going to take a look at uh, Floranti and Elmer's handiwork here. This will be the first full coat of white paint. Yeah, she's looking absolutely fantastic. She's even got a shine already.
Hi guys. Well, that's been another quick week here. Uh, they seem to be getting quicker and quicker. Uh, as you've seen on the video, uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, Chisamba's makeover, uh, nearly there, hopefully next week. Uh, she should be done and dusted for the, uh, the actual makeover. But uh, the work doesn't stop there, of course. There's still a lot of other outstanding things to do. Uh, while she's in the wet dry dock, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to our Patreons and uh, all our subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the button, please. doesn't cost anything, and you'll be doing us a big, big favour. So, uh, yeah, hope everyone's keeping safe out there. Uh, our Liz is not here today. Uh, well, she is, but she's not feeling too well today. So, uh I'm on my own and uh, of course Randy's away out uh, staying with his bird love love <laughs> so but apart from that all's quiet in the hood uh, look forward to next week uh, hopefully as I say get the painting finished and uh, hopefully start installing the A-frame the back platform and a couple other bits and pieces or oh, hopefully next week we'll put the name on Chisamba on the stern so looking forward to that that'll be a uh, time to crack open a wee bottle I think uh, when the name goes on so look forward to that and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, any questions drop us a line uh, technical questions try and help you out best I can and uh, yeah stay safe look after each other and uh, we'll see you next week eh? it's lunch